Welcome back to King in It. Welcome back to Copanyan, guys. So, um, I don't think there is a full moon party on while we're here, which is a shame because it would have been cool to go and film it. But um, today we're planning on going to maybe like a couple of beaches and to see some temples. And then I think in the evening there's like a rooftop cinema that I think we're going to go to. They've got like a real cool vegan buffet, or so I have read. So, yeah. It should be a good day. Sounds decent. So we've woken up this morning at the Hansa Resort, which is just banging. The, the, the little lip, and then that's the beach. You've got enough lip on you. Oh, I'm so hungry, Craig. We need to go and get breakfast. Where do you want to go? I don't know. I don't. We just, I guess, get on the bike, and we'll explore because we don't know where anything is. Coffee. There she is. Here's a little scoopy. Morning. Good, thanks. How are you? Let's go and get the coffee, please, Craig. Left or right? Right. Stop! Luna Cafe. Best coffee in town, so we have to stop. Do you know how absolutely schizo I'm going to go on this place if it isn't the best coffee in town? I know. I'm gonna throw it at her. Oh wow. She's nice though. I don't care. <laughs> I'm getting hope in jar. I think it's supposed to be hope in a jar. <laughs> Hopefully there's some hope in the jar. Craig, what's a caper? You man has a caper. <laughs> the pepper in it. Is it? Pretty sure it's a pepper. What ones are those little little fish then? What are they called? Tadpoles. How serious that face is. <laughs> this is serious decision making, really. That's a strong 9.6 out of 10. Ooh. I'm not even sure, sure if that's soy milk. Do you know when you're a bit like, it's too good to be soy milk? You're in a cafe. Best coffee in town. Filthy. Nice to it. It's good. That looks so pretty. Because the waitress loves me. Because I say please and thank you and like Amy. Amy just like, give me a fucking coffee. Your coffee might look nice, but it's not as good as mine. Oh my god. <laughs> no vegan sap. Might be good coffee, but I can't be killing fighting for shit like that. What's the plan then, my brother? I'm not sure, Craig. Here you are. Temple, beach, waterfall, bar. Temple, beach, waterfall, bar. Do you know the name of any of these places? No. A quick pit stop because I really like this here, and I've got my GoPro towel with me. But because I did so much shopping in Bangkok, I haven't got any room in my suitcase now, have I? So I'm gonna have to bin the towel and get a nice thin one while she's showing. No, thank you. Have a scooter. <laughs> so, um, hopefully, Craig can get good price. Good price. I was like, you go in because I'm shit at bartering. I get all like, maybe, maybe take 20p off for me. <laughs> So fingers crossed he comes out with a good price and a nice new towel for Amy B. What does he say? 700 bar. 700. Nice. Do you know how thin that is? That's like paper. I was oh. like... See you later. Ah, oh. bugger it. To the beach. I mean the temple. Quick in and out, Jobby Craig. I am sweating, but I think we're just in time for karaoke. But it's Sunday, and there's a lot going on here. I think obviously this is the daily, the day of religion. Is it Sunday? <laughs> it's so famously known the day of religion. So should I tell you a fact about like temples and that? You better be good. 
So, um, do you know that women aren't allowed to touch monks? No one is, are they? Men, men are allowed to touch monks, but women aren't. So if you need to pass something to a monk, you have to give it to a male first and he'll pass it on. But if there's no males around, you have to use your right hand and put it to his right. Did you know that? Why, if he's like a little slingshot? Yeah, that'd be fine. Don't chase the chicken. I know you want it with all your heart, don't you? Nah, I don't. I want to take him home, he's cool. You're such a little kid when it comes to these things. What, when it comes to chasing chickens? Yeah, and pigeons and birds and that. I've never chased a bird in my life. You're that kid. You're that kid. What's the guy's name? Hugo Suave. Who's that? Rico Suave. Rico Suave. I don't know who that is. There's only three lines on my shirt. <laughs> what are you? Amy's been smoking crack this morning, can you tell? How, how's the temple for you, my brother? It's not really much of a temple. It's nice, it's nice, like, uh, nice vibes and that. Everyone yeah. seems real friendly here, but there's not like, apart from this shrine, shrine there's not a lot happening. So uh, we're going to go to the next spot now. Can we get an ice cream on the way? No. What about like a mango sorbet? If you're lucky. Get in the car. Okay, we've made it to Hardson Beach. Hardson. This wasn't actually... You are son. Sweaty son. This wasn't actually the beach that we were supposed to go to. We were supposed to go to um, Hin Kong Beach because we saw that there was like um, the palm tree that goes right over the sea and you can sit on it and get a really cool picture. But the tide was out and it looks a bit ugly. So take that into consideration if you are heading there to try and get a nice photo on that on the, on the palm tree. Thanks for that Instagram queen. You're very welcome. Cheers to life, Craig. Cheers. Setting up camp by you. We gotta do something cool, we gotta go in that water or something. There's a roast in there. Not a bad little beach though. There's a few people snorkeling out here, so there must be some stuff underneath. But decent. Loves a bit of cold pan yang, me. It's uh, it's very small, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's how that really came down to then. <laughs> we went for a quick dip, but it was about a thousand degrees in the water because it's so shallow. It's just boiling hot, so we were like, this is not refreshing. And there were sea urchins, one there. Yeah, massive ones, so you we came out. You've got to be careful about those. They're the ones with the spikes. I would have kicked one of them in the Philippines, it was horrible. Yeah. But we found a little swing, so we're going to have a little go on this. we got to find some water real soon, I'm dying. Guaranteed Amy gets travel sick on this. I feel like it should hold us, but it's scary. Ah! Okay. Maybe we shouldn't swing. Too hot. We're leaving. Amy nearly fainted. Are we so. Sorry, we're not going this way. Can you go that way? Yeah. I'm going this way. How are we doing? <sighs> people are worried about you. What do you want to say to the people? Don't who are be worried? worried about me. Honestly, I get hot, and I I talk myself into fainting like all the time. I'm not pregnant. Oh my God! Can you imagine? <laughs> what would I do? We wouldn't survive. But um, yeah, I'm fine. It just happens. It's always happened. So. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, I'm fine, I'm fine. Sweat you up a little. When that sweat, Greg, you start worrying, yeah? You can actually get a massage on this beach though, it's pretty cool. So what's your thoughts on Hard Sun Beach? It was alright. I think it would have been way better when the tide was up. Um, but because it was out, the water was a, like kettle water, wasn't it? Like it was bath water. so warm, yeah. But the swings were cool, so if you're going to go there, make sure you go at high tide. Now we're going to a waterfall. <laughs> Welcome to Wang Sai. This waterfall could go one of two ways. 
It could be a little dribble off the back of someone's house or it could be a waterfall because I've read some reviews on waterfalls in Koh Panyang and it depends what time of year you come because obviously if there's been no like rainfall there won't be no waterfall and it's pretty hot so fingers crossed Ew. there's like loads of little ones they go all the way down all the way over there Craig's Trey's trying to frantically get out because he's just bitten a couple of times it must have just been a fish you'll be fine you're such a girl <laughs> This spot's bloody wicked. We came at the perfect time. There was nobody here. You right there, fam? Oh, my balance isn't the greatest, Greg. <laughs> Definitely check this out. It's like tiered. We came in from the top end, but you can go down the bottom end and actually see the waterfall, but it doesn't look like the swimming's all that down there, does it? This is a nice spot, isn't it? It is really nice, yeah. It'd be, it'd be less to just come out and chill in, because you can just... Like, look at that. It looks lush. If I had the hotel, I'd plop it right on the top, I reckon. But I'm starving, Craig. We've got to eat, man. We haven't eaten all day. I'm about to punch someone. Look what we just found. Yes. What are you having for dinner, peeps? I'm going to have like a, a temper pita bread with hummus. I'm excited. What flavour? Teriyaki. Teriyaki. <laughs> I don't even like teriyaki. I hope I like it. Sure you will. I'm so hungry. Did you clock the desserts as well? I did. They look incredible. I've got a beetroot burger for me and I'm so excited. I'm over 18, so if I really wanted to, I don't even have to get a meal, like dinner. I could just get all those cheesecakes in that fridge. You're over 18, yeah. I'm over 18. I'm an adult. That's <laughs> my decision. That's good. Set. We're on our way home now. We were on our way home and then we were like, shit, the GoPro. Because we set up for a time lapse. We left you, I'm so sorry. We've got an exciting cinema experience to be had tonight. Are you ready to watch a film? Yes, I am. It's called Lion. Yes, I'm excited to see what the place looks like. It's like a rooftop cinema. I'm, I'm, I'm ready because if they've got an all-you-can-eat vegan buffet and I know we've just had food but I'm ready for it I hope they've got like vegan ice cream in there FYI we're going to Moonlight Cinema in Kobayang <laughs> pardon me in Kobayang let go this is going to be so nice Craig like, we've had such a full on day I'm excited to relax we haven't watched a film oh no we watched one film since we've been away called This Is 40 and it was it's crazy, wasn't it? it was Our shit. friends recommended it and we were like, what the hell is this? So, this could be good. Vegan buffet. Vegan buffet. <laughs> Get out of here. It's proper funky. Welcome to my tropical world. For the future. It's just a cave like, in the middle of Koh Banyang with a massive cinema in it. Proper cosy lighting. It's a silent cinema as well, so we get headphones. So I can't hear Amy like this. <coughs> 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 
is actually a really cool spot. And we're right in the back so I don't get travel sick. Oops. This looks banging. Just met Rob at the chef. The he's, naked chef. He's, he's whipped up a storm. Some pumpkin curry, some sauerkraut, some green Thai style curry. Oh, we're too late for the garlic bread though, we're we? the garlic bread and the pancakes. Absolutely so fuming, mate. Humid. Come at half past six if you come in. I didn't think you'd be allowed to take the food in, but you can take the food in. Result, because we were late for the buffet. But... Food in a movie. Oh, Craig. a wrap for the movie probably wasn't a dry eye in the cinema oh my god i cried the whole way through that was such a beautiful film like the way it was shot and the storyline it's called lion oh my god watch it i think it's like really immersive as well when you've got the headphones on because it was like quite a tearjerker you've got no other sounds coming at you you're yeah. fully into the film that is that is the future yeah. of cinema. Yes. You haven't got people crunching or sneezing or anything like that. No. Bloody brilliant. But about five minutes in, Amy decided to just lob a can of Fanta on the floor and then didn't tell me and I laid my bag in it to soak it all up. So now I've got a soaking wet, sticky bag. Actually, it actually, um, it actually, I actually kicked it before the film started. I didn't realise your bag was down there. Sorry, Craig. But if you're thirsty on the way home, you can just suck your bag, can't you? <laughs> like that we're back in our cottage cabin cozy nest what a day it has been it's been a mission hasn't it are you tired because i'm knackered i'm pretty tired yeah it's been a full-on day today i've got growing pains and greg and greg is like imagine you woke up and you were like six or nine <laughs> <laughs> that's how i feel like it's gonna go because they hurt man <laughs> who even gets that at 27 it's so hot today wasn't it it was pretty warm yeah i was sweating out most of that the day that sweaty upper lip was not built for vlogging i mean you're real close like i apologize for the state that we were both in today speak for yourself love <laughs> So that is it for today's vlog. Thanks so much to Hansa Resort for having us guys. It's been wicked. This place is so nice and so the staff are so friendly. It's in the top spot. Oh my god. What happened? So it's about four o'clock in the morning. And we just heard the door wobble and I was like both just wide awake because it doesn't just wobble and then and then the door, and then the door opened someone pulled it from the top did he pull it from the top it, I think he pulled it from the top and looked and there's like a shadow of someone yeah, swatting by the door curtains and it came ajar didn't it <sighs> fucking hell I'm shaking and, and so I was like hey hey I jumped out of the bed got up and whoever it was just started walking off Pe he pegged her he was only a kid he must have been about 13 14 it was it was like tiny unless it was a really short tie guy oh he scared the shit oh, out fucking me, hell because there's there's a, there's a lock it's just at the bottom it, it's just one of those locks you push in so he must have, he must have somehow lifted it because there is a little hole because i i look because mosquitoes can get in and he like it, it, I, I ran straight at him and just pushed the whole door and it opened straight away like and he just legged it onto the beach then uh, imagine what he would have taken oh, like we've got everything in here he wouldn't have he wouldn't have taken anything How, why was he trying to get in for a snooze no like we, we wouldn't no I reckon he thought we were out clubbing because yeah, we all out, the yeah. lights were off yeah I know um, and we obviously he startled us Jesus Christ <sighs> Scary shit, man. I'm shaking. That's pure adrenaline. I feel sick. <laughs> I don't know what was happening. I was in the deepest sleep ever. I'm so glad we heard that bang, though, Craig. My laptop's like right next to that door. Fucking hell. <laughs> Let's explain what happened last night without being all flustered and shit in our pants. <laughs> so basically, we heard the door, it wobbled and bounced open, 
and then the curtain flew open and I looked and I could see a guy squatting down by the door because I was like coming out of a deep sleep I was just like what is happening so I was like hey hey Amy was like what the fuck <laughs> jumped out of the bed the pair of us and the guy scarpered down the beach and he ran away but it was terrifying wasn't it at the time we, I, you just don't know what, what's happening I thought is he gonna just pull a knife and be like give me all your stuff or it's strange because our shoes are outside it's like a respectful thing in Thailand where you do take your shoes off before you go into places so he knew we were here because also mm. if you're going out you padlock it from outside yeah so um there's just a there's a lock on the bottom of the door that's it one of those push down locks and he's obviously there's a, a gap on underneath he's lifted it somehow and opened it like really easily mm. Um, oh, it was so scary though. That was scary. You just don't expect it, and for him to come in and kind of know you're there, you're like, "What's he coming for?" Yeah, exactly. Because it's, it's a big room, and obviously most people sleep with like their phones by their head, don't they? Mm. I just, uh, it was very scary. You, yeah, it's not expected at all at ten to four in the morning. And we've been so lucky on our travels. Like the only thing we had go missing is Amy's iPhone. Like the first time we went to Bali because we left it in a taxi um, with all our other stuff and it got nicked. But other than that, we've been so lucky. Yeah. And like we've heard so many stories, but yeah, it was it was really scary. Like the adrenaline was pumping for like three hours. We didn't sleep, did we? <laughs> no. It's, I'm so tired today, honestly. But we spoke with the manager here, Natalie. She's such a nice lady. Yeah. She was just like, these these things do happen in Koh Panyang, you know. Um, the locals do do steal from from tourists and but she'd never she'd never ha had it happen here in all the time she'd worked here yeah i guess uh, we're we're the end bungalow on the end of the beach so i guess if they're, they're going to target anyone it would be us because it's an easy getaway yeah but what we did say is like we we're always honest when in our vlogs and when we're like we've stayed here for three nights we've had a great time apart it's from that lovely, incident yeah. and they've been so friendly so we were like, we, we don't want to like promote this place if, you know, it's going to put someone else in danger. So we said, you need to, to sort the locks out on this place and check all the other doors. So she said she's going to get someone in to sort them all out. So, yeah. but yeah, just as a warning, if you are in Koh Pan Yang, just make sure wherever you're staying, like the doors lock properly and like you've got a safe or something like that to put your, your shit in. But yeah. Don't let it put you off, because like, we were a bit shaken up, but today we're just like, you know, it's just a, a gentle reminder to just look after our stuff. That's it, like, it has pointed us in the right direction to really, like, strap up our bags when we go out and things like that. Yeah. It does happen everywhere, it's just a shame it's happened here, it yeah. really, really is. Because this is a lovely place, it really mm. is. I was just like, so hard, we did not to do, because, you know, we've offered to do some filming for them so they they've agreed to um have give us like those nights stay for free and uh you just feel like you're kind of taking the piss a bit if you're like guys we can't recommend you yeah. this has happened so we said right, okay this is a fair exchange you guys need to change these doors you need to change the locks and she was like okay so they're gonna do it and and if that happens it's absolutely fine yeah. this place will be safe as houses so yeah sorry to end on a downer but that is it for today double ending and we will see you tomorrow. One, two, three, bye. bye.